the sinus node, the source of all electrical activity in the heart, is an epicardial structure. It's sitting here at the junction between the superior vena cava and the right atrium outside the heart. It's a little bump that's really sitting in a mass of fat where there's a lot of nerves running into that fat pad from the parasympathetic and sympathetic ganglia. Inside the heart, that then translates into these conduction uh, pathways. The atria themselves do have some preferential conduction routes, but there's no actual conduction tissue, unlike the AV node and the Hispakinji system. And this Hispakinji system is so uh, well designed to transmit electricity fast, that's why you get that narrow QRS on the ECG. So it's activating both ventricles almost simultaneously, as opposed to the slow P wave that you'll see inscribed on the ECG. So slow conduction through the atrium, through the AV node, rapid conduction facilitated by that vesicular tissue, and then repolarization so that this can happen all over again. This is a nice illustration here indicating exactly how the vectors in, in uh, electrocardiography affect the ECG. So just to remind you, any electrical impulse going towards the lead, here you can see towards lead V6 is going to be a positive vector, positive QRS above the baseline, and it's going to be negative moving away from lead V1 here if it's moving away from that particular lead. So I think conceptually easier to think about if you have a focal source tachycardia. So let's, let's say you have an atrial tachycardia originating from the left upper pulmonary vein. If you look at the ECG, the P wave then is going to be negative in AVL, negative in 1. So not sinus. 